Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all on the fifth Founders' Day of Ecole Global International Girls' School. It seems like yesterday that I dreamt of a school like Ecole. The last four years have seen this dream take shape, not only in terms of infrastructure, but more in terms of the development of our students. I am delighted to welcome and introduce a scintillating personality, Saina Nehwal. Saina Nehwal, the second daughter of Harveer Singh and Usha Rani, was born in Hisar on 17th of March 1990. She is a professional badminton singles player from India. Nehwal, the former world number one, has maintained her world ranking in the top 10 since 2009. She has won over 20 international titles, which include 10 Super Series titles. Although she reached to the world number two ranking in 2009, it was only in 2015 that she was able to attain the world number one ranking. And thereby becoming the only female player from India and overall the second Indian player after Prakash Padukone to achieve this feat. She has represented India three times in the Olympics, winning bronze medal in her second appearance. She, ladies and gentlemen, is the first badminton player to have won an Olympic medal along with being the only Indian to have won the BWF World Junior Championships or to have reached the final of BWF World Championships. In 2006, Nehwal became the first Indian female and the youngest Asian to win a four-star tournament. She is also the distinction of being the first Indian to win a Super Series title. In the, two, in the 2014 Uber Cup, she captained the Indian team and remained undefeated, helping India to win bronze medal. And it was India's first medal in any BWF major event team event. Considered that one of the most successful Indian female sports persons, she is credited for increasing the popularity of badminton in India. In 2016, the Government of India conferred the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award, on her. Previously, the nation's top two sporting honours, namely the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna and Arjuna Award, were also conferred on her by the Government of India. It is really an honor to have her amidst us, ladies and gentlemen. I think we should give her a big round of applause. I am also pleased to have my dear friend, Major General Sanger, who is a very decorated officer of the armed forces amidst us, ladies and gentlemen. Learning today is far more compli complicated than once thought. But learning also is far simpler than commonly presumed. The complication arises because learning involves more than just school, curriculum and test results. Children learn from every situation and every person they encounter. Sometimes they will learn what we do not want them to. They learn to cooperate or compete, fear or trust, join or isolate, but learn they will. Education removes our doubts, fears, and helps us gain knowledge. But knowledge alone does not make one educated. Education is complete only when we learn how to live, how to pray, and how to relate with other people. Education at Ecole is not road learning, but to stimulate minds to think, and not just about careers. Careers will happen. They will happen anyway, as a byproduct. Therefore, the attempt here is to make every possible exploration possible for students to learn. And when I say learn, it is not only to get high percentages in board exams, but to be equipped to chase a dream. The world is today our platform and forum for any child 
to pursue any vocation and make it big. We need to help these children realize a dream. I appeal to all the adults present here who can influence the lives of our children to allow the children recognize their strengths and work on them. It's stupid to expect a fish who cannot fly to qualify in a flying test. A child who may not be good at mathematics would be a brilliant person in music. Let the child find place in the sphere he is fond of. Not everyone needs to be a doctor, engineer or a scientist. The world needs Saina Nehwals, Dhonis, Amitabh Bachchans, Hari Prasad Chodesyas, just as much as we need doctors and engineers. Ecole during its journey of four years has been able to not only make, just produce very good board results, but also left a mark in the field of co-curricular and sporting activities. The first board result was very heartening, with 30% of the students who appeared for the board exams secured an overall percentage of 90% plus. And some of them hitting the bullseye, scoring 100 out of 100. The class average for the first batch hovered around a very decent 80%. Kudos to my colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. They certainly need a very big round of applause and a standing ovation. While you will get to know the complete details of the achievements of my colleagues in the principal's report, I cannot restrain myself from announcing from this podium that my colleagues have done exceedingly well in swimming, shooting, basketball, and have taken part in various debating quizzing and other inter-school competitions and have come out with flying colors bringing laurels to the school and to their parents. Now ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a very beautiful, nice, entertaining, entertaining evening. I'm sure you'll have great fun and wish you all a very, very happy Diwali. Thank you.